back to my channel. Today we are doing a day in the life, a stay at home mom vlog. I asked you guys over on Instagram what kind of YouTube video you guys wanted to see and day in the life and vlogs are always your guys' favorite, which are my favorite too. I love filming these. So here we are. So it is Sunday and I'm actually gonna get ready to go to the mall. It is time for me to go back to wearing a normal bra after nursing and being pregnant and having babies. I like really got into a place of just wearing bralettes and not a real bra and I'm over it. And so I basically measured myself and I have gone down two cup sizes. Like it, it's insane. So I have to go over there and just make sure I'm ordering the correct bra online. So we're gonna go over there. It's raining today. It's like, where is the spring weather? Because this is not it. <laughs> So it's Sunday, like I said. On Sundays, I really like to be productive, but like also do things for myself. So like I said, we're gonna go over to the mall. I need to get out just alone for a little bit today because it's spring break next week. So I'm gonna have the kids by myself all week long. So I need a little, I need a little me time so we can recoup the batteries so we can get through the week. I'm gonna self tan later today. You know, just do some self care. I always take my Sunday night bath which I'm just gonna kind of share like what I do on a Sunday. I kind of like do the same things each Sunday because that's who I am, I'm a creature of habit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go out and about today, do a little mom time out, but also, you know, get things done because I also like to make sure when Monday rolls around, like my house is nice and clean and like ready to go. I don't like starting the week with a big mess. That doesn't do anything for me, um, so. That is what the plan is for today. This past week honestly has been really hard. Um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm really, really active over there. Like almost every day I post and it's now Sunday, but on Tuesday, was it Tuesday or Wednesday? I can't remember. Um, my mom's death anniversary had rolled around. So that was hard. This week in general just was really difficult. It was Tuesday because that was the same day that I had to take Everly to the pediatrician because she's had this nasty cough for months, weeks, I don't even know. And I finally took her over there and she has pneumonia. And so it was just a long week of just dealing with that. And she had to get x-rays, she had to get blood work done. We're running around trying to figure out medications and just like what's going on. They thought it was valley fever, which is actually kind of serious. Um, but I don't know what it is because the doctor never got back with me. She wasn't sure what was causing it and I still haven't gotten any answers even as of now. So maybe tomorrow she'll let me know what's been going on. So I was just very stressed out about that. And then again, just like grieving on top of it and just the normal stresses of being at home by yourself all week long. You guys, I don't know. I don't like to call myself like a solo mom all the time just because I don't know. I just, I don't use that as like a thing to like promote myself on YouTube. It's just not a thing but I am <laughs> like I am a solo mom so when I wake up um and get the kids going till the time they go to bed it's all on me I I don't have my husband around I don't have anyone helping me throughout the week thankfully I have my in-laws who do help me out on the weekends like they'll take Everly sometimes um but in general like I just don't have like the village I'm doing it all by myself and I'm alone with kids by myself and that's why I love just you guys and the community that I've made on Instagram and here on YouTube because it can be very lonely for me. I don't have a friend group, like I just don't. I have my little friend group um, through social media and stuff, but like I don't have like an actual like best friend and friend group, like I said. Um, that's just been something I've struggled with over the years. I have always just been like an outcast in general. And then, um, I had a falling out with like my high school friends in like when I was like a young adult because I was just honestly not a good person at the time and just treated people not well and did things to people that were not okay and I can just honestly say that now but you know I had a lot of mistakes that I made and I lost a lot of people I've had a lot of people do some shit things to me also so I just have learned to kind of be on my own as I've gotten older and become a mom and I think even just becoming a mom and getting married and stuff like you kind of start to have your own thing anyways but yeah so I am manifesting real real life <laughs> Wow, that sounds pathetic. No, but for real, like I am actually really trying to call in just like real genuine friendships that I can have in person. I think my soul and just like, I need that. I need that connection. I'm so grateful I have a husband that is so, so great with me. And just, I'm so, so fucking, sorry, I'm trying not to cuss. I'm so lucky I have him. 
um, but you know girls need their girls you know what I mean and I don't have my mom anymore um, so it's it's time for me to start putting myself out there to be to have friends again and to trust people I've had some really really bad situations happen with friends in the past and I think I've I'm, I've healed some of it um, but not fully I've never shared really like what has happened in the past online before I almost made a story time video of it because it's a effing story when I ever I tell people this this story that happened with a friend like they're like what like it's bad um but you know I don't even know where I'm going with this I really don't um uh, where's my thing at I think my lashes on where is my thing anyways that whole rant was just basically me saying that I need to step out of my comfort zone and you know just allow people back into my life again and trust people and I trust my judgment now because I had absolutely terrible judgment terrible boundaries just insecure and that's why a lot of bad things have happened to me because I didn't have the you know self-worth and the boundaries back in the day and so people took advantage of that and I, I again I don't want to come off like I was an angel because I wasn't um but I've forgiven myself and I have grown so much and I know right now in this day and age like i am an amazing person and a good friend and i know that and so i want to make sure that people that come into my life are exactly that because that's what i'm attracting not people who have competition issues not people who try to take from you you know whether that's just emotionally energetically um just in any way shape or form because i'm a giver i like give a lot and i've had situations in the past where like it was very one-sided where people are always coming to me and asking me for advice and like trying what should i do what, what da, 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 da. and then like that was never reciprocated you know what i mean so yeah i don't know again i obviously am venting right now <laughs> i think i say that all to say like if you're someone who maybe doesn't have a lot of friends or any friends like me it can feel very lonely but at the same time it's just so important to be selective like really 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 be selective about who you're spending time with and i had a problem where i was just spending time with like whoever just like have people to hang out with and that's a big don't do that because you will put yourself in situations that are draining and borderline not good so whew. wow that really needed to come out of me <laughs> if you're looking for a really amazing natural body deodorant this one by Curie. My husband uses it. My son uses it. We all use it. They're so good. You can find them at Walmart or online. They smell amazing and they actually work really good. So I don't know if you guys have heard of like the color analysis, but I went deep in it and I basically won't buy colors now without referring to it. Um, I did a big uh, shopping don't mind myself tan in my armpits. I bought a few things for spring. I shared that over on Instagram. Um, from American Eagle and also my favorite um, like athletic wear brand, which is CRZ Yoga. This isn't sponsored or anything. I just genuinely love their stuff so much. And um, I bought a bunch of things. I'll show you guys here in a second. But the color analysis thing is so cool. It basically tells you like what colors look good on you and what colors look bad on you. See, this is why I need a bra because this is like bugging me. These tank tops from American Eagle are so, I keep forgetting to put the sticker off, okay. These are amazing. Like I love the fit of these. The, the way they feel is so nice too. They fit really great. They're like a ribbed material. They're racer back in the back and then they're like cropped, but not like they definitely hit a little bit lower than a crop. They're so freaking cute and I have to get more. And I think they were like $11 with their sale. Definitely under 20. They're really, really good. I need to get more colors. And I have been in like a flared moment where all flare jeans these flared leggings from crz yoga they're so cute sorry the lighting is kind of bad but i have a discount code that's still active it's 20 percent off just my first and last name krista horath and i bought so many cute things from them let me show you guys i also got i got one of their bra tanks they're just so nice like the material is amazing this one specifically doesn't have a built-in bra on it um but most of them do that i wear and then I got some biker shorts for them. They have pockets, they have different sizes. I have to get the five inch because I'm not very tall and the long seven inch biker shorts look stupid on me. Um, they're high-waisted, again, amazing fabric. And then look how cute, this is a skirt. It's coming off more gray in person, but it's actually like a greenish gray. 
um it's sage it's so cute it has built-in shorts it has pockets like these are all my colors too it's like muted blues and grays and pinks and purples it's all very very cool toned um that's just some of the stuff i got these leggings like i said i got like a blue pair super cute stuff like i'm just obsessed with it my hair is super dirty right now i'm gonna wash it after i self tan later um so yeah we're gonna head to the mall get some mom time alone time out Hopefully I can figure out what I'm doing with my bra situation. You guys, I measured myself and supposedly I went down to a C. Okay, I haven't been a C since middle school. I was a double D in high school. So I feel like part of my identity is missing when I saw that. I was a 34 C and I was like, what? That's not a part of me. If you know me from high school, you know, <laughs> because I was always that girl that just like, I had a bigger chest growing up and it just felt so weird to think that like my, i lost that much volume in my chest after having rain and everly and parker like it really was from rain because i breastfed the longest with him and i never lost volume in my boobs like that until after i had him breast implants i, I don't know I'm, I'm considering it well that was a fail so they are remodeling Victoria's Secret. So just drove over here for nothing. And now I'm like, okay, well, what do I do now? <sighs> do I go do something else? Do I go somewhere else? Do I just go back home? Oh, that's really annoying. I'm like debating. Maybe I should go to Nordstrom Rack. I don't know. It's like all the way on the other side of town though. Okay, so I changed my mind. I think I'm gonna go in Macy's. It's like right here. Um, and at least just try some on and see what my size is. Cause that's really why I was going to Victoria's Secret was to see what size I am for sure. And then also just like try out their different styles because sometimes their styles are too plungy for me, but uh, just like, I need to know. Like I've been waiting to do this and I finally do it. So I'm gonna go in Macy's it's over here um, and just, see what I can find. Good morning guys. It's actually been like a week, a week and a half since I filmed. I'm so sorry I left you guys hanging. When I went to the mall that day, it was raining and I just came home and then we ended up just like literally hanging around the house all day. So I just didn't film and I haven't been vlogging obviously very consistently. So it's just not like in my routine right now um but it is the day after easter it's monday i have been a lot more active over on instagram if you guys want to follow me over there i will continue to vlog here and there too mom what? mom inside. you want to go outside mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here i hope you mom, enjoyed mom, it mom, mom. make sure to give it a mom. thumbs up and i will mom. see you guys in the next one bye